potato tot waffles are basically what you would find, like, uh, it's going to have everything that you would pretty much find, like, in a supreme, like, nachos, like, nacho supreme type of thing going on where everything is just, like, fully loaded, everything is on there, but we're also going to be using some waffle tater tots instead of our nachos. So, let's get veggie. Alright guys, so for this recipe, you're going to be needing a waffle maker, so I hope you guys have a waffle maker, and you're also going to be needing some frozen tater tots. Alright, so, whoa, that's a very smoky grill, or whatever you call it, waffle maker, I just said the name and somehow I forgot. Alright, so I've gone ahead and already sprayed this, and I'm just going to go ahead and lay down our tater tots onto this guy here. And you just want to cover all of the spots with tater tots. Don't worry if there's like a little gap. We're going to fill in some gaps later on. Just place your little taters or your little hush puppies in there. Just fill it up as much as you can. And then we're going to go ahead and close this up. And we're going to kind of, we're going to give it a little bit of pressure so it can close up. Some, but you keep in mind that these are frozen, so don't like force it too much. Um, it's gonna slowly start, you know, giving you a little more leeway. You're gonna go ahead and push down on this, and you're gonna cook this for about a minute or so. So after a minute, you're gonna go ahead and open it up, and wherever you see like little gaps like that, you just wanna place a new. Uh, a little tater tot in there, just like little spaces, just load that thing in there. Alright, and then we're going to go ahead and close, whoops, I almost missed the spot, and then we're just going to go ahead and close this back up. Alright, so you're going to know when this is done, when it gets just like really nice and golden brown, and be a little crispy some of it you know the edges will still be like a little soft but that's perfectly fine then you're gonna go ahead and remove this from your waffle maker Oops. and I probably should use two forks but it's cool whatever you know whatever and then you're gonna go ahead and put this on some uh, paper towel so it could absorb any of the oil oh there goes my oven so it could absorb any of the oil you're gonna have a lot of oil left on your uh, Waffle maker, the tater tots come with oil, at least mine, the ones that I buy come with oil, so that's why it gets rid of a lot of oil in there. So yeah, you're going to do this uh, two to three times, depending on how much you want to make, and yeah, let's move on to the toppings. Alright, so to assemble this, we're going to go ahead and start off by adding some vegan grounds. You can hear Mia, a little pitter-patter in the background. We're going to go ahead and add some vegan grounds. And I've already just I've heated these and just lightly seasoned them. So we've got our vegan grounds, and this is about half of a cup of vegan grounds. Next, we're going to go ahead and add our cheese. And I'm using, uh, what is this called? This is the Pepper Jack Bay of Cheese. Um, I'm not using my cheese because I wanted to use the Pepper Jack. I'll put a link down below to my homemade vegan cheese if you're interested. Next, I'm going to add just a few dollops of vegan sour cream, the non-dairy stuff. Then sprinkle on some onions. I'm using red onions. Then we're going to add our tomato. You need some guacamole and you can just use whatever your favorite guacamole is. You could even make your own or store-bought, whatever floats your boat really. Then we're going to go ahead and sprinkle on some green onions. And last but not least, we're going to sprinkle on some cilantro. And now you're left with a mountain of delicious tater top waffles and these are fully loaded as promised alright guys so it's time for the taste test cam and for this taste test cam I have 
a full family taste test cam because I made this and everybody just started digging in immediately. So, what does it taste like, you guys? Good. Hmm? Good. I don't know how to go. Everybody's mouth is full, so they can't say it's good. So that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Also, go ahead and click on one of these videos to continue watching if you like. And, yep, I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, guys.